Zell Boy Army, welcome to another video on the channel. Hope you're all doing great today. Just come back from taking my two year old to see Disney on Ice. He absolutely loved it. Um, and yeah, we're in a good mood. Today, we're following up the series that we started on Thursday where we looked at the best. Let me just move this camera slightly. Yeah, okay, that's a bit better. We'll look, carrying on the series where we look at the best meta players in the game. We did Defenders Thursday. We're carrying on today with midfielders. So, what I'm going to do, people seem to like the format when I did it the, this way the other day, we'll just look through all the best ones and just give a little talk about them all. There will be some midfielders and forwards who are in different ones, like Hullet comes under centre, forwards come under forwards. Dino's a cam. He would obviously be one of the best attackers. So, bear that in mind. I'm not going to go through all the forwards to check for that, but it's kind of obvious which ones do that and are good. All the team of the years, I am not going to spend crazy time on them. They're clearly absolutely insane. The only way we're going to get better cards than this is assuming by team of the season, they're probably going to start to add free playstar pluses. I'm pretty sure that's when they'll do it because team of the season will come out around the time, slightly before even the Champions League um, final. In the Champions League final, whoever wins that has a pretty pretty good chance of having three playstyle pluses but yeah all the team is absolutely insane lots of high 90 stats great playstyles bond Matty is one of the best de bruyne very good very nice combo of playstyle pluses this is down honestly though, could be the best midfielder in the game five star five star two good playstyle pluses finesse technical long pass um stats are absolutely crazy um very good physical he plays very well in game i think he's got to be in the debate for best midfielder Patelas, if I had to pick one though, it would probably be her. She could be the best forward in the game, though. That's how good she is. Um, absolutely elite card. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God Squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code Zell at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com. Today. You would want her in midfield rather than attack, I would say, simply put. Um, you don't want to waste all the other stats she's got. But um, as a forward, she's got 490 plus base stats. Pretty crazy from a team of the year. Bellingham, elite card, obviously. Jude Bellingham's cards play pretty well at the lower levels. This card's just an even more juiced up version. Dino, he'll be in the attackers. Oberdorf, probably the worst team of the year card. Maybe Millie Bright was worse. Um, no, probably Mary Earps is the worst as a small keeper. Oberdorf, though, still very good, pretty decent value, to be fair. Rodri, very good. I do think Vieira does his role slightly better, but this Rodri is a brilliant card still. And then Pele, he'll be in the attackers. Zidane, great. Not quite as good as um, the watch call at 96 there. And that's the first page. Zidane, still great. All of Zidane's pretty good. This Vieira, for me, is the best... Um, like Anchorman to destroy a midfielder in the game. Zico, top tier. Modric, crazy value, still very, very good card. Uh, Mateus, 84 dribblings, his lowest base stat. 90 plus on four. Um, four, four. Uh, Playstyle pl pluses are pretty poor. That is a letdown on this card. Stops him, I think, he'd been a bit clunky at his playstyles. Stop him from being in the debate for like top midfielder in the game, but very, very good nonetheless. This Patelis is still very good. All the Patelis are good. I think Gold Patelis is probably the best midfielder we've ever seen on foot on day one outside of Icons. Uh, yeah, the Modric. Um, I forgot the, that there's two Modric's, but they're both great. Sawa, very good, but not that big an upgrade on the other one. Uh, quite a few attackers in here. This Bergkamp, one of the best value players I've used this year, was actually a very good card. Uh, Perlo, pretty decent. Came out quite a while ago. Um... Was he an SBC? I can't remember. I feel like he was an SBC. Uh, pretty good card. Very good story there for me. A foot legend description. 505-79-264. How does this nonsense make it into the game? Do they even test stuff? Patrick Udaro. Very, very good. Um, that play style there. One of the best in the game. Snyder. Top tier midfielder. With potential to get another plus two. Gerard Van Basten. Not bad. I think Gerard's pretty good. I think he's 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Uh, good play styles too. Um, a little bit clunky, but top midfielder, to be fair to him. Shearer, not really midfielder without defending. Uh, Palmer, honestly, could play midfield. 
Very expensive card, um, but without defending, he's good enough to play midfield. Basically, a worse Patelis in the midfield. Crows. Did Real Madrid already play? I can't remember. I feel like they did win their first game. So maybe he's had an upgrade, unless I'm remembering wrong. But if this card did go the whole way, it'd be top tier. Uh, bon Matty's Informers or Centurions. All Bon Matty's cards are going to be good. Rodri, whatever at that point, really. Pedri, pretty solid. Xavi, top, top tier. One of my favourite midfielders this year. Outside of the like the top few, he's probably like top five to ten midfielders in the game. Two brilliant playstyle pluses. Uh, fantastic card in general. Finesse is good. He's got all the passing playstyles you want. Best passer in the game, five star weak foot and gold long pass. Brilliant on the ball. Defending's pretty good. Feels better physically expect. Very, very good. Uh, Nadine Kessler, very good. Um, Sawa's normal card, good. Musiala, all his cards are pretty solid. This one's really good. Beckham, 4 4 in this card. Can play centre mid. Very, very good card. Um, always a bit expensive though. Beckham. That Snyder card's still pretty good, but that's got 56 defending. What's this one got out of interest? 50, okay. They haven't really upgraded it then. Uh, that Kante weren't bad. I don't think he was that particularly special though. Um, Yaya Torre, very overpriced. What is his price now? Obviously, he's only been out a day or so, but. Always interested to see, really. Let's have a look. 3.8 mil. Whereas if you look at, like, De Bruyne, 3.4. And whilst he probably gets the two upgrade, he's not even that close to De Bruyne, even with that. So, a bit crazy, that. He would be a very good anchor. I'm one of the best, though. Erdegaard, he was okay. Don't really get why people did him, unless they're Arsenal fans. We start to get to this point, honestly. There's quite a gap. I think that Kimmich is pretty good. Unfortunately, it looks like Bayern probably aren't going to get many upgrades. Abelie is very good. She's due card at some point. Valverde does like a golden tint on that one. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Um, pretty good card. It's radioactive, isn't it? That's why. Uh, Hadji, underrated, but more of an attacker. Mascarano, not that great. Nedved, good. Uh, Rice, honestly, could be very, very good. Um, if he got a plus four, which is doable, I would predict he gets at least two or three, then this card is right up there. Um, if he had a plus four, he'd have like 92 pace, one of the quickest midfielders in the game. He'd actually be okay on the ball because his dribbling stat would be so high. Be insane physical and defending. His passing would be elite. He'd have an okay shot. That would be an incredible card. And he's got two very good play styles. That Van der Brumen. Very good, um, four five, uh, play style pluses though. His play styles let him down, but it's a very good card. I think he was an SPC though, so I don't think you can do him anymore. This Ramirez, pretty crazy. If Chelsea get the plus two for him, he's very, very good. Chelsea did draw today though, so that's one of the, assuming it's that game today. Start, uh, he needs to win two of the next three, so that should hurt the card a bit. Zaya Emery, very, very good card. That Kim Little, pretty underrated. Claudia Pino was good. All the Valverde cards, pretty solid. Essien, decent. This Huller SBC, very, very good. Was very expensive, though, but a good card. Chabi Alonso, a bit too slow. That Georgia Stanway, that's just come out. Brilliant card. Don't know how Bayern Munich women do, but if she did manage to get um, the plus four, she'd be absolutely elite. Uh, definitely want that card, then. What's her price going for at the moment? I'm going to predict like 400k. 50k? Okay. I have no clue about prices this year. Well, look at the card. Very good defending. Good shot. Quick. Elite passing. Great play styles. She's an absolute bargain, to be fair, then. Um, as we move down, there's really not that many special midfielders. Trying to look for any of that particularly standout. Veron's not bad. That Gula was okay. This Horan. If um, they go the whole way, could be a pretty good card. Uh, De Jong, he was decent. Deora, not bad. Locatelli, solid. Marquisio, pretty good. Especially if they get the upgrades. Don't really know you they're doing. Uh, I'm not really going to go too much further at this point. There's some good midfield still, but we're looking at the absolute best. We've probably gone past that, really. Appreciate you all tuning in. Hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you for watching. Keep it spicy.
Hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.